Hi, I'm Lars Norquist. I go to St. Albans School in Washington, D.C. This is Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is where George Washington lived. This is where I live and where George Washington was from. This is D.C. Most people didn't really like the fact that Washington was really close to, deep, to where uh, George Washington lived. So he said that nothing, no federal building could be built in the Virginia park. If I had a friend come to town, I'd probably take him to the National Cathedral, the Washington Monument, the Jefferson Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, and the Natural History Museum. The National Cathedral, which was damaged by the 2011 earthquake, it is also the sixth largest cathedral in the world. I'm inside the cathedral now. Behind me is the moon rock window. And the white part in the middle is a piece of the moon brought back by Michael Collins, who was from the first mission to the moon. Michael Collins also went to my school. On the National Mall, which is actually a mall with shops and all, it's just a green space. Um, the National Mall runs from the Capitol all the way to the Washington Monument. Hey, Nat Geo, did you know that the National Mall is bigger than Vatican City and that Genghis Khan died of a nosebleed? This is the Lincoln Memorial. It was dedicated by Warren G. Harding. On the top, there are the names of the 36 states that were part of the Union when Lincoln was president. I'm standing on the Virginia side of the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. The Woodrow Wilson Bridge crosses Virginia, D.C., and Maryland. D.C. Maryland. D.C. and Maryland. D.C. and Maryland. D.C. My favorite subject is history because it's interesting. If I can go anywhere in the world, I will go to the Galapagos Islands because there's lots of turtles there and Charles Darwin went there. This is a map of Washington, D.C. from the 1700s. Washington, D.C. was designed by Pierre Lafont. He was a Frenchman, which explains why this map from the 1700s is in French. Um, I want to be an architect when I grow up. If I were in charge of the earth for a day, the first thing I would do was stop terrorism so people did not have to live, would not have to live in fear. Then the next thing I would do would be to stop communism, which would give people a lot of their freedoms back. Thanks for watching.